Hey there guys, it's Mark here from Frame the Toys. Um, you might have seen some of my photos on Instagram. Um, if not, I'll put the link below in the description. Um, I'm just basically wanting to come out here to do a bit of a tutorial on toy photography. Now, at the moment, I have got, she's hiding, my lovely daughter with me. Um, say hi. Hi. Now, she's 11 and she's just starting to get into um, photography. Um, so we thought we'd do a little bit of a tutorial on how to shoot some toys with a 70 to 300. Not the best kind of lens to do it with, but we thought, what the hell, let's give it a go. We are set up here now. We've got the toys set up down there and we've got the camera set up down here. Roughly at about just under 200 mil, aperture priority, f5.6, ISO 200, and at the moment it's at one one hundredth of a second. It's a cloudy day, so that's the reason why I've used ISO 200. You can use ISO 100, but with this kind of lens and the length we're at, it, any kind of movement whatsoever will be picked up. Um, so I've just put bumped that up a bit just to help out the shutter speed a little bit. Now, obviously over here, this, let me get over there. This is completely different scale to this. So I've put a bit of separation in them and also with the added depth of field, basically what that's gonna do is gonna blur it out. So you're not gonna really be able to tell. So that's the reason for that. And obviously I didn't want to just give him a bit of a bland kind of background. I wanted a little bit of something there, give a nice little feature in the photo. So let's get back to there and my daughter will take the shot. My daughter's about to get to the shot. So what she's doing, she's get, getting the focus point onto the face. That's the main thing we want to be a nice and sharp. Um, what we're using, we're also we're going to be using a five second timer delay. Um, again, this is to help any kind of vibrations whatsoever. The last thing you want is to add any kind of blur to your image. Um, if you want to go take that shot, okay. Now you can let go, and there we go. So we've took that shot. Let's have a look at this. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. If we zoom in there, there we go, look at that. Nice and sharp, on the face, just what we wanted. Perfect. So then we can go back, edit that, and pop that up on the screen in a minute. Okay, so we've uh, set up for another shot now because we thought, what the hell? Now, what I've done now is I've added some additional lighting because it is very cloudy in here. Don't forget, we are in the woods, so trees give quite a bit of cloud cover. So the light is just given enough onto Link's face. And I think that's a nice fun shot. So, take it away. You, you get aligned, take your shot. Settings are still the same. We've zoomed in a little bit more to 135. Well, should I say zoomed out a bit more? Um, and what we're going to do also, because I'm using a stand with the figure to keep him upright, we are going to do a little bit of a trick and I'll show you what it is. Have you took your shot? Mm -hmm. Are we looking? Let's have a look. Beautiful. Right then, what we're gonna do is don't move that camera whatsoever, sweetheart. I'm gonna move the figure and that, and the focus is still exactly the same because it's now on manual. Now you take exactly the same shot. Okay, so then if you press play on that, now move left and right. No, on the, yeah. Wrong way, sweetheart. There we go. And back. So you might be able to see what we're going to do. We're going to put this in Photoshop. And we're just going to blend these two photos. So we can remove that stand. So we can see exactly what we've got behind. And again, I will put the picture up on after this. Right. 
we're back again for another picture. Little Big Planet and a T Rex. Now, what's holding Little Big Planet figure up is a bit of wire. That is your best friend. Always carry some around with you. All it is is literally flower arrangement wire. Um, pick it up for a quid, eBay. Jobs are good in. Now, <laughs> underneath the lens, you might see a pair of snips. Also, your best friend to cut it. But at the minute, it's propping the lens up so we can get nice and level for the picture here. Now then, if you want to take that shot, again, five second delay. We are not really going to clearly see that, but it's a lovely image. Now also what we are going to try is we've got one of these. This is what you call a drain unblocker. You basically pump it up, fire it off and fire it at the dirt, basically kicks dirt up, adds a bit more depth to your image. So I'm going to try that. Unfortunately you're not going to see that because I've not got a tripod for the phone. Um, I'm not correctly set up for this. Um, I do apologize. It's my first tutorial video um, So expect little niggles and things like that to go wrong But it is what it is. You'll get the gist So I'm gonna try that and then hopefully I can put an image below um, Or rather next and you can see what uh, that looks like Right then, okay, um, I thought I'd try and give you a little bit of a demonstration on what this is. Basically we've got this, pumped it up, nice and tough, and all we do is aim it to the feet to shoot the dust over this way, like so. Hopefully you get to see what that looks like, we'll see. So hopefully you've had a bit of a brief idea into how I'll get some of my shots. Um, obviously there's a bit of editing that goes on. Um, you'll see, you'll, you'll see, you see the edits and you'll see what kind of things I've done. Um, any questions, feel free to ask. I'm always there to help absolutely anyone as much as I possibly can. You gotta remember I'm still a beginner slash amateur, certainly a beginner with the toy photography still. Um, but I thought I'd do something like that as a massive passion for me. Um, big shout out to Photoy72, which is Paul Masser, um, has been a massive help um, from the toy photography community. Um, so thumbs up. I'll put a link to his Instagram below. Um, please check him out. Amazing photographer. And again, um, Sir Dork, um, another, he's got his own YouTube channel. I'll, I'll link his YouTube channel below. Um, again, he's the one that um, pretty much got me into this thing. i come across his video, thought it was amazing. I thought, I've got to try a bit of that. So yeah, that's how I'm here. Um, so big thanks and hopefully um, there'll be many more of these videos. We'll soon see. Take care guys. Say bye. bye. Take care.